Well, hello again. Yes, day two of a new vlog, and yeah, was pretty hard enough to find out how to edit the videos that I did yesterday, but still gonna try and do daily vlogs and things like that. So good fun. Um, today is a pretty dark crap day <laughs> for the weather and uh, I was told by a good friend of mine that try to like make a story or you know have it like you know use this like you know, like pick things out of a day and then use that as your story or things like that so today I've been basically just Correcting like for three or four hours correcting loads and loads of worksheets and things like that for my work in the academy and uh, A lot of the kids are very very good You get a uh, the odd one. That's a bit uh, Likes to talk a lot or move around I teach between anywhere from from six years old to adults so it varies usually the kids what i've noticed is a lot of the kids you know they go there because their parents say say they have to go and you can definitely notice the difference between someone who's been forced to go and then someone who's actually decided to go and has a lot of uh interest to learn um but most 99% of the kids there are told by their parents that they have to go there and they just uh, they don't want to be there but uh and you can notice it in in the uh, in the work they do as well they just half ass it and and that so but uh, let's see if i can I don't know can i can i flip the maybe i can't show you outside It looks sunny, but it's actually not. I have to have the lights on in the house because otherwise it'd just be dark. Three in the afternoon and it's already really, really dark. So yeah, I'm gonna try and um, try and get these vlogs up to about ten minutes at least. But I have to try and some days when I'm not doing very much. Maybe at the weekends, a weekend vlog could be ten minutes. But I mean during during the week, there's not much going on. I wake up. Do sort of house chores, correct anything I have to correct for for the classes, and do work plannings, and and then go to work, do the classes, come home, relax. And now I'll be relaxing, but I'll be <laughs> editing these vlogs and trying to put them up and do something with it. But uh, yeah, um, I have to go out and do some Christmas shopping and things like that this month. I'm going over to my father for uh, for Christmas this year. He's got very sick. He's diagnosed with lung cancer this year. So I'm going to go over and see him and try and see him as much as I can. Um, but at least I get, I get to have the 24th here where we do Secret Santa and uh, all of my girlfriend's family come over and we we do Secret Santa. And it's good fun, good fun, I must say. Great group of people they are, very funny. Um, I'm gonna try and do this in one shot really because then I don't have to head it, just throw it up. We'll uh, We'll see if I can get enough time. But um, I don't know, uh, maybe one day I'll open up a bit about the cancer thing. I don't know if anybody watches and they have the same problem. I don't know if we have the same views or how you're dealing with it or how I'm dealing with it. Really, I'm dealing with it basically by just trying to not think about it. Just shut it out and forget um, other people maybe they might get emotional that then they turn to to uh, 
you know, they, they become... One thing I don't like is, though, when you have these people and they come on and then they they suddenly turn to, you know, oh, we have to create cancer awareness and get more charities up and, you know, send money to charities for cancer awareness. I think that's great, you know, great for you if you do it. But it's just funny how people, you know, a normal person all their life hasn't ever donated to charity to cancer research or anything like that. And as soon as something hits home, close to home, then they're all, oh, you know, cancer research. Uh, just some people in my family have been doing that recently. And I kind of think it's slightly hypocritical that, you know, you haven't all your life, you know, 40 years of your life and you haven't done anything like that. And suddenly now you're really interested in in uh, people donating to charities for cancer research. As I say again, I think it's the best thing in the world. The more people who donate to charity is the better and all types of charity. But uh, some people are just very hypocritical. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's my rant on that. And... Uh, to go to work in about two hours and get home, relax, see the wifey, as I like to call her, even though she's not my wife, but we've been together about four and a half years and been ups and downs, not being able to see each other and long distance, but now I'm finally here and I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy to be here, definitely much better. I don't know, um, that's another topic we could touch on, I suppose, one day is, is uh, long-distance relationships. Do they work, you know? 99% don't, but you have to be very trusting and there has to be a lot of love there as well, I think. But, um, yeah, I think uh, that'll do for today, maybe. And maybe we'll touch on that subject for tomorrow. Give me something to chat to you about. And, uh, okay, so, Sue, so, see you tomorrow. <laughs>